Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. The day has finally arrived. We have the first three episodes for the Wheel of Time series. And in this video, I want to talk about my five favorite moments from episode one. And just a heads up, at first, for this video, I didn't want to just keep comparing a book to TV show because they're different things. One, it's a book, one, it's a TV show. They're handled very differently. But at the same time, comparing the two is a bit fun, just noticing the differences that they have made for the adaptation. So I am going to point out some differences here and there. I know it can be a bit obnoxious when people just keep comparing a book and TV show, but I'm gonna try not to do it as much. I'm only gonna reference it when I think it's worth mentioning. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. At number five, I have Moraine and Len arriving at the two rivers. We had seen this clip before, about a month ago they released it, and I think it's a very important moment in the episode seeing these two important characters arriving and how the people, the two rivers folk, react to them. In the book, it's a bit of a mystery as to who these strange people are. But here in the TV show, it's immediately revealed that they are Aes Sedai and her water. Seeing Nynaeve reach for her knife immediately, it's a very Nynaeve thing to do. As soon as she sees this, these two strangers, her first thought is to protect her people. We then see Marin Alvir interact with uh, Moraine, and she immediately, as soon as Marin sees the Aes Sedai ring, she immediately knows that she is an Aes Sedai. From here we go to number 4. At number 4 I have the massacre of the two rivers. The massacre begins with this guy getting killed and from here on we see the Trollocs absolutely destroy the two rivers folk. I'm glad they didn't shy away from showing how ruthless this shadow spawn are. In the middle of the fight they just take a break and they start eating people. This is a really cool way to show how ruthless and dangerous these Trollocs are. In the books, the Trollocs are dumb creatures that they that only care about killing and eating, and that's exactly what we get here. The two rivers folk don't really put too much of a fight because that's not what they do. They're not soldiers, they're not warriors, they are farmers and sheep herders, and so the Trollocs just absolutely destroy these people. But then, on the other side of the two rivers, we have, at number three, the attack on the Althor farm. We see a Trolloc arrive at the Althor farm, expecting an easy meal, I'm sure expecting easy prey, but that's not what he finds. The Trolloc quickly dispatches of Randall Thor, but then Tam pulls out a Heron Mark sword and starts fighting the Trolloc. When Rand sees his father fighting the Trolloc, he has this look of surprise because he sees his father fighting with a sword and also fighting with skill. Tamal Thor knows how to use a sword. How did he learn how to use a sword? I'm sure we'll find out. Still, even though Tamal Thor puts up a really good fight, the Trolloc gets the better of him. But then Tamal Thor is saved by Rand and Rand kills the Trolloc. I am kind of disappointed that we didn't see Narg. If you've read the book, you know that in this portion of the book, there's a Trolloc that speaks to Rand and tells him that his name is Narg. I was kind of hoping to see Narg in this scene, but we didn't get him. But still, this scene was really good. Tamal Thor is a badass. From here, we go to number two and that's Moraine and Lan fighting the Shadow Spawn. If you've never read the books and you're wondering how powerful an Aes Sedai can be, well, here we see it. We see Moraine using weaves of air and fire, just throwing fireballs at the Trollocs. And the one thing that I really love about this moment is how Lan goes around Moraine, keeping her safe as she uses the One Power. The choreography in this scene is done really well. I think this and Tam's fight against the Trolloc are definitely my favorite fight scenes in this episode. This scene also does a really good job at showing why Aes Sedai 
while some Aes Sedai have warders, and Aes Sedai can just focus on using the One Power and killing the Shadowspawn with the One Power, and her warder can just keep her safe. Whenever something gets too close, the warder takes care of it. Also, I think it's kind of funny how Moraine ends up destroying the Winespring Inn. I hope Ewan's parents had insurance on that, because I don't think Moraine is gonna pay for it, considering that she just saved their lives with it. But anyway, from here we move on to number one. At number one, I have maybe an unexpected one, but I have a really good reason as to why this is my number one, and that's Perrin killing his wife. The reason why this is my number one is because even if you're a book reader, this was unexpected. In the book, Perrin is not married. Perrin doesn't have a girlfriend. So just as I was accepting, no, that, that's not the correct word. Just as I was getting over my surprise to see Perrin married, the Trollocs attack and Perrin kills his wife. But I should say accidentally kills his wife. Friendly fire was turned on and Perrin accidentally killed his wife. This really took me by surprise. I feel so bad for Perrin. Perrin out of the Emmons Field 5, he has the darkest origin story. Seeing him cry at the end of that scene made me feel so bad for him. And this was made even worse because for some reason I thought that she was pregnant. The first time we see them together, Perrin tells her that he loves her and then grabs her belly, or I, I thought he grabbed her belly, but now I'm not too sure, so I don't know if she was pregnant or not. But hopefully she wasn't, because that is way too dark for my boy Perrin. And that is it, everyone. Those are my five favorite moments from episode one. Tell me in the comments what was your favorite moment or your least favorite moment. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.